Hey everyone, we're Dude's Reviews and this is the Maggie and Fletch Show. We're here to do reviews on TV shows and movies and today's review is on Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Brooklyn Nine-Nine first premiered back in 2013 and IMDb gave it a score of 8.3 and Rotten Smiling's a score of 95%. Even better. So it's right up there with the Huygens. And now Matt is going to do a quick synopsis. So this TV show is about a detective division in Brooklyn that nobody cares about, mm -hmm. but with the right captain and the right leaders, they could become the best. Yeah, so we've got Andy Samberg, he plays Jake Peralta. Andy Samberg, probably best known for what he's lead singer in Lowly Island, he he's been in That's My Boy, and he's two pals in Lowly Island actually have cameos in this show as um, well. Nice. Mm. We also have Melissa from Roe, who I actually Googled her. There's not much to Google. <laughs> we don't know who she is. <laughs> there's husband's... not much to Google. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's polite. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's not very scandalous. <laughs> but her husband is in Power, yeah. which is another great TV show. Yeah. And I know for a fact, KSI did a song in that. Yeah. Fun fact for you. Um, we've also got Andre Brauher, I think is how you pronounce it. He plays Captain Raymond Holt. We thought he was one of those uh, actors, again, who's like just been in nothing because we had no idea yeah. who he was. Then we actually looked at what he's been in. And he's had like little roles in so many movies. Scroll mm. through yeah, them. Scroll worthy. <laughs> One of which was Fantastic Four, The Rise of Silver Surfer, which as we all know is the best Marvel movie. Definitely isn't. Said no one ever. <laughs> <laughs> There's also Terry Crews who plays Terry! Would you guess? Hey. <laughs> yeah. And for a fact, he is the best robot dancer ever. Yep. We've got your back here, Terry. <laughs> yeah, by white We love you, man. <laughs> We've also got Joe Latruglio, he plays Charles Boyle. Joe Latruglio, again, has been in loads of really funny. He was in Role Models and he was actually the guy who hit Jonah Hill or I Michael Shearer, I think, were in Superbad and was like, oh no, <laughs> because he hits him with a car. <laughs> we also have Stephanie and Beatrice, who mm -hmm. is Rosa Diaz. Mm -hmm. Another one we didn't know much about, but my friend Fletch told yeah. me she's in Modern Family. Yeah, there's a quick cameo of someone's sister in Modern Family, yeah. I do believe. We've also got Chelsea Peretti, who plays Gina Lanetti. <laughs> hey! I'm a poet, I had no idea I was roaming those words. Uh, <laughs> we didn't know much she's been in. We Googled and we found she was in Game Night, that recent comedy with Rachel McAdams. McAdams. Yeah, yeah, really, really, really funny. We saw it and it's brilliant. Right. Do watch it. Film. Yeah. We also have a Joel McKinnon, who mm. plays Scully. A hey, Joel McKinnon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who is actually 67 years yeah, old. Yeah, just not long 67. It's quite it shocking. shocked me quite a lot when yeah. I saw that. I was like, Jesus, people yeah. are getting old, but they actually look quite young. <laughs> people, people age. <laughs> <laughs> people age? That's Hollywood, man. They never age. And then we also have Dirk Blocker. Now, let's just take that for yeah. a fact. Best name ever. Yeah. He plays Hitchcock. And all I wanted to know about this man is, is that his real name? Because that is a great name. And it is his real name. His <laughs> name is Dirk Blocker. <laughs> Dirk Blocker. Yeah, so Brooklyn nine is one of those programmes. I mean, you think of American sitcoms and the first thing that comes to mind is Friends. And I think post-Friends has been probably... Oh. not. There's very few things that have lived up to the style of Friends. The sound of the Friends. I wouldn't say this ha is, but it does, it's very, very good at like combining different types of characters, but also forming relationships between them in yeah. a way that is kind of similar to Friends. Yeah, it, it's, it's definitely one of the better sitcoms post-Friends. Yeah. It's definitely so in-depth that each character can have like their own episode yeah. or they can combine. Yeah. And one of the best things about combining characters, it also relates into this as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, we've yeah. got people like Jake and Amy, two of the best detectives there are around. Yeah. One's very organised, one yeah. isn't. The same but complete opposite. <laughs> Completely different. Yeah. We've got Holt and Terry. Yeah. Both great leaders, but mm -hmm. one's very loving, and one shows zero emotion yep. whatsoever. The same, but opposites. <laughs> you also have Rosa and Boyle. Mm -hmm. You got that fire and ice, love yeah. and hate. Yeah, the same one, and opposites. <laughs> tough person, not so tough yeah. person. We'll leave you to figure out who's who. <laughs> yeah, we will. Yeah. And then you also have a great side cast of Scully, Hitchcock, and Gina, who yeah. are great on their own and have episodes on their own, but they're just there for just like bouncing off really well off people. Yeah. I think one of the one of the really good things about this show as well is that it's actually a lot of what we see is actually improvisation. I, I can't remember the guy's name, but the co-writer of this is also the co-writer of Parks and Rec, most of the episodes in Parks and Rec. And uh, they, they use that method in both of these shows where like they film it once and they're like, cool, yeah, we've got that, let's film it again, but you can do whatever you want. And I think actually that most of the scenes in, well, not most, a lot of the scenes Majority. in here are actually just improvisation, which, which is just quite, adds to the comedy value. I still think that's a great way of filming stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the, old <laughs> the old improv. The old improvisation. That's what we're doing now. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Another great point about this TV show is that it got cancelled. Yeah, what? That's not a great point, it's a sad point. <laughs> someone's just saying it got cancelled. Fox got Got rid of it for some bizarre reason because yeah. the fans went so mad on all social platforms that yeah. 
like literally M Twitter and yeah. Instagram went yeah, mad. Yeah, went mad, and then NBC within like the next day was like, okay, we'll yeah. buy it, and they brought it straight away. Literally because, less than twenty four hours. Yeah, literally yeah. less than twenty four hours, and I think that is because the fans saved the show because yeah. it's that. Good. Yeah. And it's not just the fans that love this show. Amazing! Interestingly, Andy Samberg actually went to take a break from TV before he read the script for this. And he was like, nope, no more, have a yeah. break. I'm then he read this help. script and was like, this is that funny, I can't not do this. So uh, if that's not much. motivation to watch this, I don't know what is. <laughs> don't. But yeah. We're trying, we're <laughs> but trying to make you watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the things about this show is that it's flooded with cameos. Cameo central. Cameos galore. Just like every American sitcom these days. <laughs> yeah. You need good cameos. Exactly. Now this has Nick Offerman, Bill Hader, Bradley Whitford, Craig Robinson, Maya Rudolph, Neil deGrasse Tyson and Zooey de Chanel. Yeah, Zooey de Chanel actually, she's Jess Day in New Girl, another American sitcom. And they do yeah. like a little crossover episode where they have Jake from this in her, in their, in her, in their. <laughs> yeah, they're in her. And then, and then oh. Jess Day goes into booking our nice. Spoiler! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, they love us, <laughs> they're not. There's a little, yeah, little crossover, which is quite cool. It's like yeah. a universal kind of thing, which universal. is quite cool. Universal? Universal. Yeah. MCU much? <laughs> <laughs> it's like DC, but darker. <laughs> and we have to give one shout out actor in this. Yeah. And we, and we both agree this, yeah. All we've done is talk about favorite. actors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're going to give you one more. There's so many. <laughs> because we both agreed he is amazing. And yeah. he is Jason Man. He can't say it. It's Manzukas, I think. Manzukas? Yeah. Yeah. Manzukush. Mm. Manzukas. Definitely not how you pronounce it. Manzukas. 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 He plays Adrian Pimento, <laughs> yeah. who is unbelievably crazy, amazing, yeah. Yeah. brilliant. Spectacular. He's a, he's a, <laughs> like there's so all many words. The adjectives. You look at how he plays this role yeah, and yeah, you just yeah. don't know how to describe it's it. Very, it's very fiery. <laughs> fiery is a good word. Passion. Yeah. <laughs> and as we always say, music makes a movie, but again it's a TV show, so music makes a TV show. It's not actually a yeah, it's not actually the song as per se, but there's a bit where uh, they're interrogating, well, they're doing the, the police yeah. set out and uh, <laughs> to help <Yeah>. identify <laughs> the uh, criminal, they make them sing Backstreet Boys, I Want It That Way. And I think that rendition of Backstreet Boys, <laughs> I Want It That Way is my favourite, well, it's my favourite song in the whole And they found a suspect. Series. Yeah, and they found it because of Backstreet Boys. Music <laughs> saves lives, people. But really, it's all about the <laughs> doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, yeah. Good theme song. <laughs> yeah, so that has been Brooklyn Nine Now. We mm. love this show. Yeah. We feel like everyone should watch it. It's so good. We listen to the characters, you probably recognise a few, you yeah. want to watch it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You saw this great cameo. Yeah. If you're looking for a new sitcom to watch, Brooklyn Nine Nine, if you haven't seen it, it's definitely a good one to watch. Definitely. Yeah. We've been Douge Reviews, that was Brooklyn Nine Nine. Leave a like and subscribe. And if you do watch it, let us know what you think of it in the comments below. Please.